going to be an interesting day. I'm going to be working in the yard. I know that seems like all I video is me working in the yard, but uh, this will be interesting. I got a brand new electric lawnmower. I um, also still have my manual reel mower, which I'll be using. And uh, I also got to do some uh, edging along the yard, and I've got a, a new tool for that, a little scythe kind of thing. And I'm anxious to give that a good try. So uh, it should be an interesting day. So we'll see how we do. Here's our recent addition to the garden. Um, we've got potatoes growing in uh, two of these pots and onions growing in the other. Donna got the final layer of uh, dirt in there uh, yesterday actually. So uh, we're real happy on how well these potatoes are growing. Let's see if I can get a good close up picture for you. ground garden which we haven't worked on yet it looks like we might have a watermelon or a cantaloupe coming up so <laughs> have a little volunteer plant growing so we'll see how that works out and here's our keyhole garden uh, we haven't done anything with it yet either but uh, we've been amending the soil as we go you can see Donna put a fresh uh, Thing of uh, soil in there just recently and over here I'm redoing the uh, wildflower garden um, it got overgrown with weeds so I had to uh, um, just kind of redo it <laughs> so uh, a couple of weekends ago I went and I got all the grass out of there tilled it up a little bit and right now I am uh, waiting to see what grass pops up and I should plant maybe even next weekend. So uh, hopefully this little garden space will turn out. And of course there's Widget and some of the alley cats. Uh, no, they're not alley cats. These are porch cats because they don't hang out in the alley. They hang out on our porch. Hey Widget. I got the front yard done. My little push mower here does a really good job on the front yard. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't use it in the backyard because there's too many tall weeds and sticks. These little blades here get jammed up and even the tiniest of stick. And it's rather jarring when you hit one. <laughs> So here's my new uh, weeding device. <laughs> see if I can get that in focus. Oh no, it's in Japanese. <laughs> but this is a uh, just a knife to uh, take care of the weeds. I'm not sure I could do this one-handed. But uh, you basically just draw up and pull and you cut the weeds. That was terrible, but <laughs> it works much better when you can use two hands. Well, that did a decent job, but I've decided I need to pull up some stuff. This rose bush, I think I'm going to move. It's not very happy here. This is a rather shady spot here on the north side of the house, so uh, it's going to be fun trying to move it though. This thing bites. <laughs> well, anyways, that edger does a really good job. Uh, it might not look adequate because I pulled up some fencing right here, but. Uh, it just does a great job with these tall weeds. Well, I got it up. It didn't bite me. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't injure it when I dug it out. I think I got all the roots. I got it planted in the backyard now. Okay, I got it planted over here by the bird feeder. I thought that'd be a good place for it. Uh, hopefully I got it a good drink of water. Buried it nice and tight. Well, in loose soil. 
and I hope it gets enough sunshine here. It's a bit shady right now, but uh, I'm thinking maybe that'll help the birds out a little bit, having some protected place to land because of all the cats around here. So uh, let's hope that works out. I also had a shrub in that flower bed. Went ahead and moved it too. Got it planted over here by the new wildflower garden. So hopefully it likes that spot. Also gave it a good drink of water. So what do you think, Widget? I did a good job, huh? You supervised real well. Yeah, I know, I still gotta mow the lawn. Here's my new lawn mower. It's an electric mower, plug-in type. No battery here. <laughs> Got a nice long extension cord. It'll reach all the way to the back part of the yard. So I get to do that next, but I think I'm gonna break for lunch. Whew, that's a lot of work. Hey, Moose, how you doing? He's one of the porch cats. His name is Moose. <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. How you doing? Over there, that's Mo, another porch kitty who seems to be very interested in the leaves over there. I think this is what I'm going to be planting into the uh, new wildflower garden this year. Do some sunflowers. I've got several different kinds here, as you can see. Ought to make for a really spectacular garden. Here's our seedlings for this year's garden. Son has got some uh, tomatoes and peppers and whatnot in here. It's been growing real good. Uh, we got these new LED grow lights that these plants just seem to love. So uh, we should be uh, planting these into the garden in maybe a few weeks. Okay, it is the next day. I didn't shoot video after I finished mowing the lawn. You can see I got the backyard mowed pretty good. Widget's enjoying the sunshine this morning. Actually, it's about 2, 3 in the afternoon right now. <laughs> Let's see how that rose bush is doing. Not looking too happy. But then again, plants never look happy when you move them. Hopefully, uh, it grows. Alright, I might give it another drink of water. Check the other one. seems fine so uh, hopefully that'll work out seems to have lost that rose bush but it definitely wasn't happy where we had it <laughs> oh if you're wondering what that pile is um, that's actually our grass clippings uh, compost pile as you can see grass grew around it so I need to get that side thing I showed you <laughs> and cut those back Okay, I gave it another good drink of water. Fixed the well a little bit. So that should hold the water. Let's uh, cross our fingers. This rose bush does good here. Well, let's check on the front yard here. Uh, yesterday I spent time getting a lot of the grass out of this flower bed. I removed the old plastic uh, black fencing that was around it. It was just changing color too much and looking pretty cheap <laughs> so uh, I didn't weed this part of the front flower bed because these vines come back every year They're actually really nice plants so I just letting it grow oh what do you think of our flocks that has been doing excellent over here I love the little purple flowers there's moose again see porch kitty uh, <laughs> So here's that flower bed I cleaned out yesterday. I cleaned it all the way out. I need to get some more of the grass dug out of there. 
but uh, we're unsure what we're going to plant over here again. This is a very shady spot, so uh, we'll have to figure out what we could put over here that's really shade tolerant. Here's all that old black fencing. It really doesn't last too long. You can see it's turned really gray in the sunlight. It's actually getting kind of brittle. These plastic fencing things just don't last very long. Had one more unexpected repair this morning. I had to fix this fence. If you can see along the fence line, it's starting to collapse. It's just old and we don't really have the resources to replace it yet. So this part was falling down. So I put another extra fence post just right here in front of it. And I'll probably do the same thing down there, but it's gonna take a little more effort to uh, prop it up before I can put a new fence post in. Didn't really show off the mower yesterday. It's a brand new Hyper Tough brand. 12 amp electric, 17 inch deck. Really nice. It's all plastic construction. <laughs> this back part here is the uh, output for it, the, the exit port. It lifts up. You can see there. Um, you adjust the height of it with this little knob here. That's the only adjustment on it. Um, you can adjust the handles a little bit. Let me get out of there. Right there, you just pop this up and move it to where you want the handle. This is the power switch. Obviously the plug in. To start it, if you saw the other little video, you hold down this button and you pull up the lever. And while you're holding the lever, the mower's on. Comes with a bag. The bag's actually quite easy to put on. Let's see if I can do this one-handed though. <laughs> so you just lift that up. <laughs> Couldn't do it one-handed, so I had to put the thing on that way. But it's got a nice catchment system on there. Has this little red thing here that blows up and down. It just blows up and down, so when the bag gets full, it changes position, and you know it's time to dump it. There you go. So, oh, I do have one thing I don't like about it. I thought I'd go ahead and supplement here. <laughs> this plastic lip right here where I'm getting the brush, it, can, it just grabs loose dirt and whatnot. So I try to give it a good clean in before I put it up. But again, Everything else works great on it. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. We got a new car. <laughs> Isn't that nice? It's a beautiful orange colored Jeep Compass. Love it. Kitties. Well, I was going to do a podcast today. But uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get to it. Unfortunately, I have to run and do some more chores. And it's already 4 o'clock. So uh, if I have more time later today, I might do an update episode. Otherwise, I need to wait one more week. Man, that kind of sucks. But, uh, you know, some of these household chores just take a little longer than needed. Well, that's going to do it for me for this vlog. Hopefully you've enjoyed this look in my backyard again. <laughs> I know these vlogs seem to be all about yard work, but eh, that's just what happens. That's just what seems interesting at the time. I'm going to try to get more of these vlogs out um, as, as possible. I just get uh, busy like I have for the last month. That's why there hasn't been a Blog Oklahoma podcast out in a while. It's just I haven't had time to do one. And, and it's looking like I'm not going to be able to do another one this week because I still got some chores to finish up. And if I don't do them now, it's going to be much, much later before I get to them again. Luckily, the podcast is more of a hobby than it is a job. So, <laughs> And uh, that's about it. So I hope you like this, and if you're interested in the Blog Oklahoma podcast, go to uh, blogoklahoma.net, and I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. And I promise there's going to be a new episode next week. 
barring any more super busy disasters. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to be talking about. I got some real interesting topics that are going to be coming up. Matter of fact, that book that I showed at the beginning of this uh, vlog, uh, Killers of the Flower Moon, uh, is an awesome book. It is about a very dark chapter in Oklahoma history. I encourage everybody to read it. It's about the murders of the Osage Indians in the uh, uh, teens and 20s, uh, 19 teen, 1920s. Um, very well written, uh, very well narrated uh, by the readers on Audible. Um, I cannot recommend it anymore. I gave it five stars in my rating. Um, I encourage it. I'll have a link to it in the show notes if you're interested in listening to it or even reading it. Can't recommend it anymore. Uh, and that's about it. So I hope you guys having a great week and I will see you next time.